I myself had been guilty at one point of looking at someone, even subconsciously, and saying, mm, I know her, she's been on welfare forever, and she's just sitting around having more, I've been guilty of saying that. And I think by me going through this again, it's like an eye opener, almost like karma. <laughs> you have to see it and live it, and I take it back. And now that I'm in that situation, it's even worse, like, how did I get here? The state did, I mean, they, they just give you just enough you know what I'm saying? Because they, I guess they want you to do for yourself and, you know, things like that. But there are so many different situations and so many different unique situations that you can't treat me like, you know what I'm saying, somebody else. If you look at Connecticut's responsiveness of the caseload to the recession, the story is really not a very good one. I haven't heard the recent statistics on how many cases they're dealing with per worker, but I know at one point they were up to pro approximately 1,500 cases per worker. That's insane. We have helped to balance the budget. We have not helped um, to put new services towards families in need. If you get them a high school diploma and some college, that's not even an associate's degree, some college, they will earn an additional $500,000 in their lifetime. They were told that they needed to abandon the efforts that they had made to enroll in a college course, take up some sort of training that would allow for their not only earning potential to increase, but also their skills to be improved so that they could get a better paying job. I would love to have a job training that would lead to a job. Are we driven more about by providing services to people, not results? Should we rethink the way that we do this business?